Welcome back everyone to my podcast. So this one I'm just going to talk about the general state of um, the company I'm building. So I'm looking for a friend's place to um, kit out um, like a garage or basement or something like that. Um, even like an out shed type thing. Um, yeah, which would be uh, best for building a flying car um, and a jetpack. Um, I'll probably focus on the jetpack um, going forward. Um, it's more like my standard. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing at the moment. Um, I've built up some equipment, so I've obviously got the compressor, which I can't really talk about. Um, I've got the mill and drill press. Um, so I've got the infrastructure, um, when I was starting to build it at least, um, to build the jetpack. Um, yeah, like so many companies are copying it, but I mean, it's kind of a good thing. It's like, it's out in the world, it's being built, um, people are paying attention to it. So yeah, it's kind of interesting. Um, yeah, the world's like getting more interesting, focusing on the Vortex rocket. Cause this, like, this is the way forward. This, um, just, it replaces everything. It replaces cars, um, with flying cars, obviously. Um, rockets are replaced, obviously. <laughs> like, so inefficient, it's ridiculous. Um, they probably should have never been used. They're just so inefficient rockets. Uh, my Vortex rocket is, um, more efficient than, I predict, more efficient than a jet. Currently, it's between a rocket and a jet. Um, but it can output vastly more power than a jet um so it's like the power of a rocket but efficiency of a jet nearly which is just unheard of you never um it's a ridiculous design um in terms of its benefits um yeah i might call it that for a day i'm working my face at the moment um you've probably seen in reels it's like improving a little bit so i'm using um pore strips, um, ionic water, which, yeah, people don't really understand. It's, it's basically, I, yeah, I like, I discovered this science of water, which, um, it's, I'll just tell you, it's like water in rivers is completely different from, um, water in a bottle. So you take spring water out of a spring, you put it in a bottle and you drink it like a year later, it's completely different chemistry from the spring water to start with. So what I've been trying to develop is a way to um, remedy that. So bring spring water um, in the bottle back to its original form at the spring. Um, and I succeeded, it's ice, ice, um, like frozen glacial type ice. So an ice block, not just like crushed ice, um, returns the water back to its original form. Um, the science behind it is that the NI, if you're a science inclined, <laughs> listen close, um, the NaCl salt molecules that form a crystal, they debind in ice and then it kind of resets the system. So it's just Na molecules floating around by themselves, um, which is an ion, is what I call an ion. Um, and that is the natural state of spring water, which, um, you know how people like go to a spring and they say, oh, it's so different. Like it tastes so refreshing and buzzy. Like that is what they're talking about. Um, just people don't really know that science. It's, yeah, it's very unresearched, unknown science, the science of water. Yeah, but that's it. I discovered it by myself. Um, yeah, I'll probably leave it there. So if you wanted spring water, that's as if it came out of the natural spring, you take bottled spring water, you freeze it. So just put it in the freezer and then you melt it. And that is um, perfect out of the spring spring water. Um, slightly inefficient because you have to freeze it. So it's a lot of power consumption. But other than that, it's, yeah, it's perfect um, with minus a little bit of plastic in it probably from the bottle. Yeah, so I'll leave it there for today. We'll discuss spring water and um, yeah, a few other things. So thanks for joining me, and I'll see you in the next one. Um, I'm probably just doing regular podcasts, so not series like Truth About the Vortex Rocket. I'm just doing like seven, eight, nine um, daily podcasts. So join in and subscribe, please. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for daily podcasts about the Vortex Rocket and uh, my other designs. See you next time.